process costing equivalent production units. So, itong equivalent production units na to is popularly known siya as EUP or equivalent units of production. So, yan na yung term na kalimitang ginagamit ngayon. The concept of equivalent production is basic to process costing. Okay, bago tayo mag-proceed sa mismong computation, sa mismong problem solving involving process costing, kailangan muna nating malaman ang concept ng equivalent production units or yung EUP. Dahil gamit na gamit, itong EUP na to sa process costing. Kapag hindi natin alam ang konsepto ng EUP, may hihirapan na tayo pagdating natin dun sa lecture ng process costing na computation mismo. In most cases, not all units are completed during the period. Thus, there are units still in process at the varying stages of production at the end of the period. So, kaya nga meron ngang account na tinatawag na work in process dahil hindi naman dahil hindi naman nakokompleto ang lahat ng units or ang lahat ng products at the end of the period. All units must be expressed in terms of completed plus incomplete units restated in terms of completed units. So, mamaya natin papaliwalan itong statement na ito. Completed units do not create a problem when equivalent production is computed because they are always 100% complete as to direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Okay, usually pag kumpleto na yung um, unit or yung product, hindi na tayo mahihirapan mag-compute ng equivalent units of production dahil kapag 100% complete na yung product, sure tayo na 100% complete na yan as to direct materials, 100% kompleto na yan as direct labor, and 100% kompleto na yan as factory overhead since siya ay completed units na. The problem lies in the restatement of incomplete units in terms of completed units. So, sa pag-compute ng EUP, ang sabi, kailangan nating i-express yung incomplete units in terms of completed units. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? To compute equivalent production, it must be subdivided into direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Okay. Ibig sabihin lang nun, kailangan lang nating i-express yung mga incomplete units into direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. So, for example, meron tayong units, um, incomplete units or work in process na 10,000 units. So, ito ay hindi pa tapos dahil work in process pa lang siya. Ito, sorry. Ito, hindi pa siya tapos. Meron, let's say, meron tayong 10,000 units na work in process, meaning incomplete units siya. Para makompute natin yung equivalent production units neto, kailangan natin itong i-express or i-express natin siya into materials, labor, and overhead. Okay, let's say meron tayong 10,000 incomplete units. Ilang porsyento na siyang or ilang percent na siyang kompleto or ilang percent na siyang tapos as, as to direct materials. Ganun din kapag labor. Ilang percent tapos na siya as to labor. And ilang percent na siyang tapos as per overhead. So, ito bang 10,000 units na to? As far as the direct materials are concerned, tapos na ba siya? Nalagay na ba dito ang lahat ng direct materials necessary? Sa direct labor, so ito ba ay 
um, as far as labor is concerned. Tapos na ba tong in work in process? And ganun din kapag sa overhead. Okay, i-apply natin sa problem para mas ma-discuss. Illustration, computation of equivalent production units. Okay, units received from preceding department. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung total units na dumating from preceding department. So, si preceding department nagpa-receive sa atin or nagbigay sa atin ng 10,000 units. Units completed and transferred, 8,000 units. And units in process end, which is 60% na siyang completed, 2,000 units. So, ibig sabihin nun, sa 10,000 units na binigay sa atin ng preceding department, 8,000 doon is nakumpleto natin and yung 2,000 is still unit in process pa siya. Which is, yung status ng 2,000 units is 60% completed na. Compute the equivalent production for materials, labor, and overhead under the following independent cases. Okay, magkocompute tayo ngayon ng EUP. Number one, materials are added 100% at the beginning of the process. Let's say tayo ay producer ng caterpillar toys and ito yung completed unit na caterpillar toy. So, ito, let's say ito yung pinoproduce natin na caterpillar toy and i-apply natin siya sa problem. Sabi, units received from preceding department, 10,000 units. So, ibig sabihin... Meron na, meron na receive tayo from preceding department na 10,000 units na gagawin nating um, caterpillar toy. Gagawin natin siyang ganito. Yan ang sabi, compute the equivalent production for materials, labor, and overhead under the following independent cases. Number one, materials are added 100% at the beginning of the process. Okay, so meron din tayo dito production line. Okay, ito yung product. Let's say ito yung production line natin. Ito yung completed product. Ito yung production line. Ito yung beginning of the process. And ito yung ending ng process para makabuo tayo ng completed unit. Ang sabi, units received from preceding department, 10,000 units. Let's say ito yung unit. Yan. Ito yung unit na gagawin nating caterpillar toy. Ayan ang sabi, units received from preceding department. So, ibig sabihin, 10,000 units nito yung na-receive natin. Let's say, ito yung units received from preceding department, 10,000 na ganito. And kukumpitin natin yung EUP. Ang sabi, materials are added at the beginning of the process. Okay. From the time na pumasok to sa beginning of the, pra of the process, yung units na na-receive from preceding department, dyan na daw ilalagay ang mga materials dahil materials are added at the beginning. Materials are added at the beginning of the process. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga materials na necessary at the beginning of the process, dun siya ilalagay. So, let's say ito yung mga materials na kailangan. At the beginning of the process, lalagyan ng materials yung unit. And since na tayo ay nasa beginning of the process, lahat ng materials is ilalagay na sa bawat unit. Okay, at the end of the period, sa 10,000 units na na-receive natin from the preceding department, 8,000 units doon yung nakumpleto, which is ito. Ito yung ating um, completed unit, 8,000 na caterpillar toy. And yung 2,000 from the 10,000 na na-receive natin sa preceding department is still units in process. So, hindi pa siya tapos, 60% complete 
pa lang siya sa ating production line. So, yung, yung natapos is 8,000, yung naiwan sa units in process, or yung naiwan sa production line, is 2,000 units in process. Sa pagkukompute ng EUP, consider natin yung actual units received from um, preceding department that is 10,000 units. Ayan, ito yung um, units. 10,000. Ngayon, sa 10,000 na yan, ang nakumpleto is 8,000 units. Ito yun. Ito, 8,000 na Caterpillar Toys. And yung natira na 2,000 is still in process. Total is 8 plus 2, 10,000. Okay. Kukumpitin na natin ang EUP for um, materials. Ang sabi sa materials is materials are added 100% at the beginning of the process. Okay. So, dito yung work done for the materials And work done for the completed units is 100% dahil since tapos na to, completed na siya, 100% complete na rin yan sa materials. 8,000 times 100% equals 8,000 units. Itong units in process na to, which is 60% complete, As far as the materials are concerned, ito ay 100% na rin kumpleto as materials. Bakit? Dahil kapag pumasok, dahil ang materials ay added at the 100%, 100% at the beginning of the process. So, pag pumasok na yung unit sa beginning of the process, kumpleto na siya sa materials dahil at the beginning of the process dun na nilalagay lahat ng materials kahit hindi pa siya tapos kahit 60% complete pa lang siya as far as the materials are concerned kumpleto na siya so 2000 times 100% that is 2000 units therefore the equivalent units of production for materials is 10000 units Itong 8,000 na to, and yung 2,000, is yan yung EUP for the materials. Okay, paano naman kapag sa labor and factory overhead? Kukumpute natin yung equivalent units of production for labor and factory overhead. Sa units completed, as far as the labor and factory overhead are concerned, ang work done for labor and overhead ng units completed is 100% since tapos na siya. Kompleto na yung unit. So, kompleto na rin yan as labor and as overhead. So, 8,000 times 100%, that is 8,000. Ngayon, sa units in process na 60%, hindi pa siya totally completed sa labor and overhead dahil 60% complete pa lang siya as labor and overhead. 60%. So, 60% times 2,000, that is 
100. Therefore, the total EUP for factory, for factory overhead and labor is 9,200 units. Final answer for question number 1. Materials, 10,000 units. 10,000 equivalent units of production. Direct labor and factory overhead. Um, equivalent units of production. Final answer natin ay 9,200 equivalent units of production.